everyone. First of all, I would like to pay my high respect to Mr. Simpson, the rector of Asimpangwe Economy School, and honorable scientist, teacher, and all my beloved audience who are present here. Very, very good afternoon, well, my name is Arita. I'm the student of Sampangwe Economy School in the YES05. Today is such an exciting day to me to be on the stage with the second round of storytelling competition. What well, my storytelling today is about. Who am I? Let me start now. Spot was not. He has walked a long road and followed a streak. He has wandered to first and crossed white field. Spot was hungry and tired. He didn't know what space to go. Suddenly, Spot says, a beautiful orange butterfly. He chased over it and it led host to a bin. Then he says, a big bone filling with food. Spot was so happy. He ate and ate and ate. A mother cat and her kitchen served Spot. But Spot feels sleep. The mother cat said, he needs a home. And she walked over to Spot. And she wanted them feel to talk. Spot played the kitten every day. But the kitten the game he cannot. He called not from three. And he don't understand why the kitten was the ball all the time. One day the butterfly saw the spot was sad. It landed on his pot and asked, What's wrong? I wish. I would like it all the cat, Spot said. But I'm not. I can't even climb three. I don't feel in. You are not a cat. You are a dog. The butterfly said, You are to put on this. To back and back and put on this. You are really a very special dog. The man cat and her kitten love you, but you do feel in. Spot finally understand. It's okay to be different. I'm not a cat. Sorry? It's okay to be different. I'm supposed to be different. He said, I'm not a cat. I'm a dog. Spot was very happy and he feel and he feel very special to be a dog who live in with cat. The moral of this story is even if you know who you are, but you should try to fit in with others. Thank you for your listening.